this is July 9th, 2019. This is a breaking news release from the International Tribunal for the Disappeared of Canada. It's an open letter issued from the tribunal to Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, from the Directorate of the Tribunal. Dear Mr. Prime Minister, last month you publicly admitted that the genocide of Aboriginal people has been perpetrated within Canada. Your failure to add by church and state does not lessen the liability and guilt of your government and its partner churches for that crime against humanity and for the death of countless Aboriginal men, women, and children. In truth, your admission of genocide brings with it unavoidable consequences under both international and domestic law. The United Nations Convention on the Crime and Prevention of Genocide, ratified by Canada in 1952, requires that Canada must now be prosecuted and punished for this crime. That prosecution and punishment must be undertaken by UN member state signatories to the convention and also by the Canadian people themselves, according to the Nuremberg legal principles and the International Criminal Court Convention, which require that citizens not be accessories to the crimes of their own governments. The time for empty words and self-serving inquiries by the perpetrators into their own malfeasance is over. The Canadian state and its criminal accomplices must now be put on trial by the international community and by the Canadian people themselves. And you, Justin Trudeau, must stand as a primary defendant in the docket of that criminal trial, something you know all too well, since on June 7th, you were publicly indicted and issued a summons to appear before our international tribunal to be convened at Vancouver on September 16th. As an indicted co-conspirator in crimes against humanity, you and your government must refrain from any further actions that aid and abet the continued genocide of Aboriginal people or its concealment. For example, your government must immediately discontinue its granting of tax-exempt status and privileges to your co-conspirators in genocide, to the Roman Catholic, the Anglican, and the United Church of Canada, and your government must cancel Canada's financial concordat with the Church of Rome. For the providing of such privileges to these churches compels Canadians to financially subsidize proven criminal bodies and thereby violate international and domestic law. Further, your government and the RCMP are actively obstructing justice by silencing witnesses to genocide and by destroying archives, mass grave sites, and documentary evidence of genocide by Canadian church and state. You must immediately cease and desist from these unlawful acts and turn over all such evidence to our tribunal and to full public scrutiny. And finally, and as a corollary to these requirements and arising from your status as a named co-conspirator in crimes against humanity, neither you nor any other elected official of the Canadian government may seek a further term of office in your country's upcoming federal election on October 21st. For to do so will be to ask Canadians to endorse and become continued accomplices with the criminal behavior of the Canadian state. Mr. Prime Minister, we expect you and all the members of your government to comply with these requirements and with the dictates of international law and morality. To that end, a delegation from our tri tribunal's directorate escorted by international peacekeepers and observers, will be in Ottawa on Monday, July 15th, to make these points at a press conference and at other public events. We request now and formally that we convene a meeting with you and other members of your cabinet on or near that date to discuss these matters with you and to seek your compliance with these requirements of international law. We have asked our Canadian Field Secretary, Reverend Kevin Annett, to be present at these events and at our meeting with you. For the past quarter century, Reverend Annett has led the campaign to document and prosecute genocide in Canada. He has done so at great personal risk and cost, and in the face of a concerted campaign by Canadian Church and State and the RCMP to disrupt his work, blacken his name, and strip him of his livelihood, family, and civil liberties, we feel it is especially fitting that he be present. Please note that any failure by you or your representatives to reply to this open letter 
and notification will be taken into account by the presiding judges at the September 16th tribunal, before which you and 20 other officials have been lawfully summoned to appear. And this letter is signed sincerely, Ellen Bradbury Dufour, who is the secretary of the directorate of the International Tribunal of the Disappeared of Canada writing from disappearedofcanada at gmail.com. See also murderbydecree.com and stand by for further announcements, especially the July 15th press conference in Ottawa. We thank you.